All right, geeks. So it's uh, time for a little spin out. We have here my beloved Panasonic, all ready to go. And uh, as you can see, we have a whole bunch of records that I bought today. So, uh, well, I don't know if you can see them all. Let's make some stacks. This is uh, today's spoils. I figured we'd take a little uh, look and listen at some of the things that we found. See if anything is uh, interesting. I'm sure there will be. Uh, I got a lot of filler things as well, so I'm not going to go through everything I got. Um, Please Don't Leave Me by the Four Lovers. That's a great one. Ben Hewitt, You Break Me Up. Joel Hill, some Hillbilly by uh, Bobby Williamson. David Houston. Curtis Lee. This Curtis Lee one has CL and the pictures on dunes. It's a real good little sleeper. It's his surf record. If you haven't heard it, it's kind of cool. It's not an expensive record. You get the idea. It's nothing killer. I'll, if some of these things look warped, they're not. It's just the way that they sit on the uh, turntable. So, uh, some Dick Dale, Ms. Lou. Cool Penguin by the Continentals. Great looking label. I seem to remember this is just a kind of average kind of intro. <laughs> Is that a titty shaker? I never know. But great looking label. Um, cool penguin by the Continentals. That was a nice one. A mere ten dollars for a nice clean copy of Ben Hewitt, The Search. Some people search the world for diamonds. Some people search the world for gold. Well, maybe it'd be nice to have those treasures, but I want a woman to Just kind of skipping through things. That was a real bargain. I don't even think I've got a copy of that. I'm not sure. Bit of a hillbilly bop from Smiley Maxwellden. This one's a sleeper if you like hillbilly boppers because it's called Too Late to Cry Over You. And he did a few weepers. And you would think if you didn't know this one that it was a weeper, but this is actually a really great record. I love those kind of catchy minor key things. Uh, a few more kind of cheapies. Billy Brown's Lost Weekend. Absolutely fantastic record. Tool Pusher on a Rotary Rig. Jimmy Dolan. Step It Up and Go, Rudy Ray Moore. Shake Your Money Maker. Elmore James on Fire. Always good teenage boogie Webb Pierce. Gary Hodge, Not For Love and Money. Ebby Sneezer. That's all I've got in the Asiatic flu. Um, actually, Johnny D. John D. Loudermilk. Wade Ray, it's probably just a hillbilly fiddle record, but that's the only time I've ever seen a Wade Ray capital record. Uh, Homer and Jeffro for 50 cents. Bronco Buster's Ball by um, Tex Williams, which is a great record. A couple of things I don't know I'll put to one side. Skeets McDonald, a lot of these are 50 cent things and dollar things. Bobby Wayne's Big Train, probably one of the best. People know that I collect Johnny Cash soundalikes. 
This is probably one of the best there is. For It's a Northwest record. I've had quite a few copies of this. It came out on Epic as well, but this is the original label. Big train coming on down the track. Big train moving on down the track. Big train wants to blow that old smoke stack. Big train, oh, can't you bring my baby back? Big train, make that whistle sigh. Big train, make that whistle cry. Big train, don't you tell me a lie. Big train, why'd you ever say goodbye? a monster. I've probably had 10 copies of that this year. I find a couple every time I go to any show. Uh, Lazy Daisy, Bobby Boston. Came with a picture sleeve originally, that one didn't have one. Uh, something I don't know there. Wayne Rainey EP. Some cheap hillbilly boppers, Tommy Duncan and Billy Worth. Um, here's an oddity. You know, not everybody loves this record, but Tragedy by Thomas Wayne is a ballad I've always really loved. I came out of Fernwood. Found a copy today on Cape Heart. And I did not know it came out on K-Part. And it's got a different flip, because you have Saturday date on the flip of the K-Part. But this one's got No More, No More. And uh, I didn't know that came out on K-Part. I'm just going to keep that one. The Storm, Jody Reynolds, one of his toughest ones, one of my favorites. Um, Andy Anderson's Johnny Valentine. I think I showed you that earlier. Showed you a couple of things, I think. Oh, the um, Grady Martin and his slew foot five. Ignore the sax. But if ever anybody had that question, is did Paul Burleson play on the Johnny Bennett Trio records? Well, he did. He played on things like Tear It Up and Old Baby Babe. But he did not play on things like um, Train Kept a Rollin', All By Myself, all those things. It was the Grady Martin Orchestra, and if you've ever had any doubt, listen to this. you ever need. Grady Martin played guitar on the Johnny Bennett. Um, was it the New York sessions? Like, one of the Nashville sessions. Um, things like Cadillac and Model A by Bob Wills. Interesting version of Summertime Blues I picked up by Johnny Shane on BBJ. That's a pretty good version. I didn't know that version. Uh, BBJ Records. So, yeah, who knows? The Ever Fantastic Females by Chuck Reed. I will sell that easily. Um, Playboy by Waylon Chandler on Four Star. Shake Baby Shake, Wayne Rainey. Vim Van Vermoose, Bob Temple. Probably a jiver, but I know, um, I know that song. It was a Chuck Miller song. Straight country record on Summit, but I had to pick it up because it's the same Summit label that you had some great garage stuff on. Uh, Abbott 45, Cecil Campbell, George Jones, Dusty Owens, Jimmy Dolan. Here's a fantastic Hillbilly Bopper for you. This is a spare. I already have this. If you like Hillbilly Boppers, you'll be wanting this one. Jimmy King on Ark. 
That's a fantastic hillbilly bopper. I love that one. Um, you have a great Fico Pete hot dog and chicken little. Barney Kumis once taught me that the first lines of Chicken Little, which I could never figure out, is this confusion in the barnyard, havoc in the shed. And I couldn't figure that out until he told me that. I mean, once you know it, you can hear it. And of course, the other side's this great version of Hot Dog, Corky Jones's. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you have heard that. That's good to find. Smiley Max with an ice cold woman. Sorry, give me a red hot mama and ice cold beer on Columbia. Pretty much his best one. Honky Tonk record there. Uh, a couple of George Jones, Sun, Skeet Janey, Bud Deckelman. These are just kind of cheap hillbilly boppers. Carlisle's, T Texas Tyler. Some weirdo KR record called Tattoo and the Flashlight Man. How could I not get that? A titty shaker by the mugs. Uh, Bobby and Sylvia, I broke your heart. I broke your, what's it? You broke my heart, I broke your jaw. One of the best titles ever. A few hillbilly boppers. Um, a really kooky horror record. Johnny Thunder, horror show. Commodores on Dot, whole lot of shaking going on. And Speedo, always fascinated by that band. The singer of that band was Art was Daryl Glenn, the hillbilly singer. So... A lot of people figured they were an R&B band, but they were not, and they were certainly not connected to the Commodores, you know, lately. Great rocker, the, Jew the Jewels, Bye Bye, with a searing guitar. Sonics, Rudy Grazel, FBI Story. Ghosts, Hop by the Surfman, Wolf Bait, Henry Thome. Devil's Doll, Joe Mathis and Rosie Lee. Some unknown country bop of things. Good uh, killer instrumental by the Rockin' Rebels, Burn Baby Burn. Real haunting uh, honky tonk record. I already got one of these off Max Stevens, but this is in better shape. Stan Vincent, Jimmy Osborne, Al Peterson. I think I went through some of these earlier. Uh, great hillbilly bopper by Jimmy Widener on on Blue Script Capital. Uh, sorry, Imperial. I'm looking for one of those. Now this is a record that is very interesting. I don't know what the deal is with this. This is Laddie Moore. A lot of you know Laddie Moore's country stuff. I, this, this has got to be super tough to find. It's a really demented record. It's kind of a take on Boney Maroney, and it's not what you expect from Laddie Moore. Take a listen. Yeah, I, I don't know what the deal is on that. That must be pretty rare. Take It Off by the Genteels on Stag. I can't remember what this is like. Let's find out. Oh, I know this. It's on the Las Vegas grind. Oh, 
What a monster. Wow. Holy crap. That was five dollars. <laughs> I think I'll be keeping that one. Um, Bashful Bobby Wooden going deer hunting, which I've seen lots of times, but it's a different color label and it's got a different flip. Oh, and it's signed by him as well. Uh, Billy Mize, Solid Sender, great record. Dub Dickerson, Shenandoah Waltz by um, Morris Simmons, I got for five bucks. It's nowhere near as bad as it sounds. What do you think, Shenandoah Waltz? Much better than you'd think. In the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. Alright, it's not going to blow your socks off, but it's, you know, it's not a Waltz. Well, not really. Uh, one of my favorite Hillbilly Boppers, Cruising for a Bruising by Gene Davis. Marty Robbins, Long Tall Sally. These are cheap things now. Hard Rock 